great? Can you guys believe that Lucky Channel surging forward in this 10th episode? I'm Akira Kogami, your navigator. Hello, I'm Minoru Shiriishi, her assistant. How about we get down to business by introducing the fourth character? It's Kagami Hiragi! In the show, she's the one who plays the rational character and makes sure things are on track. So basically, she's a tsundere type, yeah? Right, I got it, tsundere. Talk about a shallow character. On the contrary. Huh? Let's not jump to conclusions by categorizing Kagami-san as a mere tsundere. Oh, what is she then? Before we get into that, we must ask ourselves, do we truly grasp the mere concept of tsundere? You see, in this day and age, it's a sad fact that as the term tsundere becomes a part of the mainstream, its true meaning gets lost in the process. First, we must trace its origins. The term tsundere dates back to the year 2002 when it was first used on the internet. It meant a hostile person who becomes affectionate. In other words, it was supposed to describe how a character's personality changed over time. Yeah, whatever. These days, however, Sundara is used to describe a character's dual nature. For example, a girl who's cold on the outside but loving on the inside would fit the current definition of the term. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. I declare that this is all a huge mistake! We must give the people back the true definition of Sundara! Sound the warning bells! Rise up and be counted, you illiterate masses! Arise! You were going pretty good there, Sebastian. Who's that? So, if Kagame isn't Sundara, what is she? Who's Sebastian? I don't get why you're making it harder than it needs to be, you know? But since you brought it up, Chief, you got another word we can use besides Sundara that gets the same point across? Oh! Well, I'm sure there's something out there that could work. Now let's see here. Kundara? No, that's no good. Did it soon? You really are an idiot. Did you know that? Isn't Sundara good enough? No, it isn't! That's what I've been saying! Oh! How about we have our viewers think of a new term that can replace Sundara? Now that's what I call a good idea! Coward. Listen up! This goes out to everyone watching right now! I want you to come up with a new term that would describe a character like Kagami! And together we'll rewrite the common facts of modern day speech! We'll call it the Great Sundara Debate! For more info, check out our radio show or log on to our website! We're counting on your ideas! Huh. So, are we done now? About friggin' time. Lots and lots and lots and lots. Biney. Biney. Fast forward. Wow, I talked up a storm today. That was the best show ever. Uh, Akira-sama? Something wrong? Happy now? Well, yeah. I mean, I got a lot of lines today, and I think I did a really good job. <sighs> So, I'm going to have dinner with one of the producers and the president of the production company. Huh? Oh, uh... Yeah, we're going to be talking about your future with the show. Huh? Oh, hold on a second. Wait, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> I don't know if telling you is going to help. I mean, if I have to tell you, you already don't get it. What? Whoa! You still got that part-time gig at Kabuki, don't you? Yeah, yeah, like during the day I do, but it's not like I'm getting rich working there. And Korean barbecue? Well, yeah, I work there too, but wait. No, that doesn't matter! Just stop it! That's all private stuff! I implore all the citizens of Gotham to subscribe to Lucky Paradise Dogs and change the true meaning of Sundara. The fire rises.